What's going on everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering and I'm so happy to see you. We might just have another triple upload day today. If you want to see that third upload, remember to crush the like button under this video. I know it's annoying that I always say it, but it really does help the channel. And well, you know, I'm a very sad man who feeds off likes. So thank you if you remember to like the video. Anyway, Anthem, EA by extension, getting totally roasted over a table. Now, you might be saying tables are great. They hold things up. They support your family at the dinner table. Or maybe you could say, well, the, uh, the periodic table. This is also a great table. There are many great tables in history. How about the round table? Knights of the round table. The table is really the star in that. Not the knights. It's the table. Okay? So when EA released their new table about Anthem and people... <laughs> hilariously roasted them i was curious i was like but tables have always had a strong storied history of being a very awesome thing well earlier today we saw ea tweet out a table a table of the many ways to play anthem now you know i know that i'm old all right i know that my hairline's receding a little bit and that i have gray hairs in my beard these are known Okay, but where I'm from in the time period, which is many, many years ago, you made the game, okay, then the game was done, all right, and then you bought the game. So my, my table would have one column that said, Anthem available February 22nd, 2019, check mark, for everybody. Now... To understand where this table's lineage comes from, its father and mother actually go back to Genderfield 5 and one of the original tables. This one's not as famous as its now hilariously memed son slash daughter slash other kin, but this is the result of EA Software as a Service and finding disgusting ways to exploit fans of the game to get early access, all right? Let me be clear, all right? The game is done, all right? Outside of a few bugs that they're going to fix maybe in this week or next week, by the time you're going to get into the earliest possible release of Anthem, the game is done. If we look at Battlefield, remember when this came out? Now, I've got all the hamsters running over time in my head, so I can try to understand this. If you play PC, all right, and you are an Origin Access Premier, you get to play the game first. But also you get to play it if you purchase the Deluxe Edition. But wait, no. No, see, I'm already wrong. PC, Origin, Premier, and Basic, get somewhat early access. You get a 10 hour trial if you're origin basic. If you have an Xbox One, you get a 10 hour trial. PS4, you're gonna have to wait. You have to wait till November 15th if you purchased the deluxe edition, but the surfs and everyone else, the real release date is November 20th, okay? What EA does is they try to trick people into getting Origin access or force you into buying a deluxe edition by using the time-tested marketing tactic known as fear of missing out, okay? This is the actual, like not a personification, but the real world execution of the fear of missing out. What they're selling you is well, geez, if I don't have Origin Premier Access and I have a PC, everyone else is going to be playing it on November 9th, and I'm going to have to wait a whole 11 days to get my access as a standard plebeian version. They should just call this the pleb edition, okay? So I should probably pay the extra 10 bucks to get the deluxe edition, but then if I want it six days earlier, I could just pay a little bit more and get the same game that everyone else gets on November 20th 11 days early. We saw them release, of course, Anthem in this most ridiculous way. And we're going to look at some of the hilarity that ensued, but the same thing. And look, this chart has been out for a while, okay? 
Anthem fanboys and girls. I appreciate you. I hope Anthem is great. If you are an Anthem fanboy or girl, I hope that you, if you're going to buy it anyway, I'm talking about, if you're just going to buy it anyway, please, I'm begging you, stop giving your money to EA for these predatory tactics. Demo access on February 1st. Now, this is the technically the open demo, all right? So already better than the Genderfield 5 release. Everyone gets it. Early access. Now, this is just to test their servers, which they failed horribly at, okay? And then early access, February 15th. Full game. Full game. If you pre-ordered it, nope. If you also order pre-ordered Legion of the Dawn, nope. What if you paid for EA Access on Xbox One? Nope. How about Origin Access Basic on PC? The answer is no. The only way you're going to get the game on February 15th is if you are one of the whale customers. Be very clear. This is what I would call whale poaching. This is what like Magic the Gathering is doing right now to keep their numbers afloat. Essentially milking their most entrenched fandom. The fandom that doesn't care that they're being abused. Doesn't care that they could wait another week and pay half as much. They just want it now. All right. So you get it on February 15th. Now, first play trial, which is, this is absurd. A 10-hour trial? Are you kidding me? A 10-hour trial. Standard pre-order? Nope. You pre-ordered pre, you pre-ordered the game on PC, PS4, Xbox One. You still don't get to. Legion of the Dawn pre-order? No. EA Access on Xbox One? Yes. Origin Basic? Yes. Origin Premier? No. That's odd. This should be a check mark, shouldn't it? Because it's not like you get locked out on February. Oh, I see. It's the same date, February 15th. We're looking at the full game. See, this is okay. This is the full game. This is the trial. Now, on February 22nd, which is the actual game, right? You plebs, almost a full month after everyone else, you get to play the game. And of course, Origin Access Premier gets it. Ridiculous. Even Jim Sterling. This is convoluted. It's beyond ridiculous. Just make and sell a game. Let's look at what EA Twitter has to say about it. Well, we can see that they are ratioed on their own tweet, which is hilarious. Imagine being the kind of person that pre-orders any sort of video game, never mind an EA game. Absolute masochists. Let's see, a tweet that got 2,800 favorites, so three times what EA got. Let's see what they had to say. I like when game companies make these charts because it makes it easy for me to decide which games I'm never going to buy. This chart absolutely convinced me to not buy the game. These staggered releases are idiotic. It's not early access. The game is finished and ready to be shipped at that point. This is real release day. This is not ab about giving early access to some people. It's about making people who want to actually own the game wait. Uh, I would I would actually, maybe I'm misunderstanding that tweet, but what it really is about is tricking people into paying more by using the fear of missing out. I mean, I should know. I use it all the time in my ad copy in my day job. Here's some advice. If you need a spreadsheet to explain all the different versions, it's too many versions. I feel bad for the poorly paid EA employee stuck working damage control for a couple of crusty old men who get their knobs in a tangle at the sight of a few extra pennies rolling down the wishing well. And that's very true. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, that... Uh, I do feel bad for the, you know, the 99% of people that work for EA and probably really love their jobs to constantly. And then you see they're just getting roasted. It's, it's like an all-you-can-roast buffet. EA help finally responds to someone who identifies them as, a, as themselves as a customer and says, This is incredible. I spent 80 euro on the most expensive edition and I cannot play a week before. 
I'm going to cancel the purchase. Of course, Eero was, hey, Gabriel, apologies for the delay. Could you tell me more about the situation? I mean, just sell it or call it what it is, right? Could you imagine? I mean, Jim's fans too, savage, right? I mean, why, why must you do this to your players? I get this. What this is about, honestly, is about incrementally extracting a few more dollars from the self-identified whales. That's what these are. If you are an Origin Premier Access, you are self-identifying yourself as a whale. And hey, if you got the money, you don't need to worry about what some internet basement dwelling beard has to say about how you spend it. All right. No disrespect. But what I'm saying is you're kind of the reason these things exist. So if you're an Origin Premier Access customer, then you really forfeit your right to ever complain about this. This is predatory. Clearly, they could release Anthem clearly on Fe February 15th at the minimum, right? February 15th, they're offering Origin Access Premier on PC access to the full game so the minimum the full game's done here now remember they've got to pack and ship all these discs to amazon and other distribution outlets so the game itself is obviously done i'm guessing the final i mean they're probably already sitting in amazon because you have to download i'm sure we'll make a video on launch day about the 100 gigabyte download that you have to buy a second hard drive for your xbox or playstation 4 to actually play this game but wow i mean i get it even you know some of my fans saying this chart is for early access and ways to play the full game it's mostly an explanation for subscription models no it isn't what this is is a devious marketing tactic to get people here's what they want they want people in column d or let's call it p for plebs they want you to move into the next column up the next column up eventually they want everyone right here in the early access for the full game that is of course what we're talking about here EA wants your money and they don't want to have to wor worry about pleasing you. That's what you're an origin premier access customer. They got you. They got your money. They don't need to worry about you getting upset. They don't need to worry about you canceling a pre-order. They got you. That's what they're doing. They're training you. If you ever seen that video turning players into payers, it's mind blowing how clearly they put it forward that games companies like EA and others. And to a certain extent, now I will have to say Bioware because you got to wonder if Bioware has anything to do with this, if they have any power to say no to this. But again, how much extra money are you really making at the expense of all this bad PR? We talked about this earlier today that EA does screws over one customer and 100,000 people see it and laugh about it. You're just, they don't understand that you're just far better. It's like Amazon, okay? I have one of my clients, I manage their Amazon account. They don't sell video games, but it doesn't matter. Amazon's return policy is essentially no questions asked. You might have whatever return policy you want, but Amazon actually dings the individual sellers if you have too high of a return rate. It dings the actual sellers if you have negative feedback, which means the customers know. They know that you're going to take that product back and you're going to take a loss because that is an exchange for the privilege of having your product for sale on the global market, juggernaut, Amazon, all right? That's why everyone's going to their own launchers. Make no mistake about it, all right? They don't want to serve their customers. They don't want to be responsible for refunds. They don't want anything to do with you other than your money. It's sad. It's hilarious. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stick around. Remember to like this video if you want that third upload today. We'll talk to you again real soon.